we start assembling the hello Marianne, uh, Megan, Brandon, Bradley, and Matthew. Uh, we started assembling the uh, windshield today, and we don't think we have any problems with that. It's not done yet, but we don't have any problems with it. We do have to find the proper rubber to go in here, and uh, but we think that's going to be available locally. Uh, pretty sure it is, and that's one of the two windshield panels. And uh, so uh, I'm going to take you on back and show you the rest of the progress and the few remaining items that we have. Uh, so you see Taylor back here right now working on the engine hatch, part of the engine hatch. The engine hatch is fiberglass we discovered when we took the vinyl off. And uh, vinyl that shouldn't have been there as it turns out. So, but there were some chips and that's what they were trying to cover up with a few chips in the, uh, in the hatch. So. We filled those chips and now we're cutting back out with a Dremel tool, cutting the texture back in, and Taylor's getting ready to uh, paint that. Down here behind his knee, we have a, on an old upholstery panel, we have a couple of labels that have to be installed uh, right by the driver. And we have here, we're getting ready to buff. This came to a straight and we bent it. We actually put an arc on it on purpose because the windshield uh, is arched. So uh, this gives us that. We also polish the corner brackets for the windshield today. So uh, this gets this gets polished, and then it gets cut off um, to the proper length to be the center bracket on the windshield. And I'm going to move on farther back here. You're going to see some neat progress. Worked just as hard as we did before, but you know when the panels went in. Uh, when the panels went in, it looked like a really big change. But we've got our stern pole, we've got flag mount on the stern pole. It works. Um, this looks pretty much the same, except we've got an engine hatch now. And we have uh, the Hydem came in today, which gets placed over the staple lines. So that's what your Hydem will look like over the staple lines. Okay. Uh, seats uh, are now permanently installed, as well as the platforms that the seats sits on, the seats sit on, and they are hinged. They hinge back and forth uh, so that you can get access to the to the uh, battery hatch. So uh, let's see, those are the things remaining. Um, over here we do have a couple more items to come to think of. As soon as the windshield goes on, I need the windshield for placement, and once we've placed it, I can figure out the placement of the step pads. These guys are all varnished and ready to go now. Um, these are some bad corner brackets that we got screwed on. And you didn't, we did. Uh, and, uh, and one last plate that goes inside the engine box that has to be polished and put inside the engine box. The rest of this is the rest of this is old parts that came off that aren't being used again because we replaced them with new parts. And yeah, that's it. So, um, how about that? We are real close, and uh, uh, I don't think I mentioned the carburetor is being built for us. Uh, the uh, um, in Atlanta, and it's going to be overnighted on Friday. And the only other issue, which I actually discovered today, is there's no dipstick. Um, and uh, actually, we didn't. I guess we discovered it yesterday. But anyway, we've ordered in a dipstick overnight and uh, it's an automotive dipstick so we have a guy in Michigan making us the making us the uh, uh, the dipstick for the boat he's the one that we got a lot of the, a lot of the replacement chrome from uh, he has an original dipstick and he's making us one we're not sure we're gonna have it here by Friday so uh, the only thing I would be uncomfortable with and I don't know what your all's comfort level is, is uh, knowing what the oil level is in the engine. And so, uh, but we had it just, uh, we just hadn't noticed that there wasn't a dipstick in it. So uh, that is, uh, as you can see up here, we've got all the deck seams done, all the white lines done. We've got the uh, bow flag pole installed, Burgee on it, and um, this guy's just about ready to go to the lake again, and uh, as I think Matt, well, I'm not sure which 
of the brothers emailed me back and says it looks fast just sitting here. Uh, we got a little touch-up paint to do here, and uh, they're supposed to cut our graphics tomorrow. So uh, we're we're really really close, and we should be able to work on the cruiser for a couple of days, and come back to this puppy on Friday, and finish her up and have it ready for you, as promised for a either Friday afternoon or Saturday morning delivery. So that's the latest. Bye.